In this third unit, we'll be looking at sources of planner support. In other words, those areas in the university where you can find planner support services. Planner support services will take place in the following locations. Study centers, Directorate of Information Communication Technologies, Directorate of Information Management System, Directorate of Examinations and Assessment, Faculties and Departments, Registry, Library. Now, let's look at the learner support activities in the study centers. The bulk of learner support activities take place in the study centers. Now, the study center is equipped to offer a range of facilities to help students overcome their problems in addition to providing a common forum for students to interact. The study center is equipped with staff to fulfill these functions. In the National Open University of Nigeria, a study center is normally headed by senior academic staff, from senior lecturers to professors, though there are few that are headed by non-academic staff, and the head of the study center is usually called a director. The director is supported by counselors and administrative officers of various cadres and other technical staff like accountants, the ICT staff, the clerical staff, the cleaners, and the security people. However, the organization of the study center is left in the hands of the director of the center. Learner support activities that go on in the study centers can also be divided into the academic and the non-academic activities. We'll take a look at this right now. Pre admission and admission process, registration process, orientation and matriculation. The orientation is when the students are inducted into the university and they are allowed to know what are the things they are expected to do, where they can get them done, and the matriculation ceremony which usually marks the formal acceptance of students into the university. Then facilitation, this is the period that is given out for lecturers to meet students and usually they meet for about eight times for a two unit course and 12 times for a three unit course. Counseling, when students need counseling, there are counselors in the study centers that could do the job for them. Now organization of field work, now what we mean by field work here includes a practicum for nursing students, a teaching practice for education students, or organization of tours for students who are in tourism, among others. Now, also library services are provided at the study center. The, if, if you don't have physical books, you will have the electronic library. And then examinations also take place in the study centers. Now, Others, there are times when disciplinary issues come up and they usually begin from the study center. For example, a student that is caught for exam misconduct will first face the panel of exam misconduct that is set up at the study center. Now, the report of that study center of the exam misconduct panel will be sent to the university examination council. And once they approve it, the students will be disciplined as per the recommendation that has come from the study centers. Now, learner support service activities in the Directorate of Information and Technology. These include online registration issues. If you have problem with online registration, you have to contact the ICT people and they will help you to resolve it. Course and examination registration issues. There are times you may need to add courses to your when you have registered or to remove courses. So they will help you to add or to delete. Then computing, advising and information, support services for personal computers, training for staff and students. There are times when the ICT staff will have to train the student and train the staff 
in what they should expect. Learner support activities in faculties and departments. Now, no matter where the students are, the truth of the fact, the fact is that students are domiciled in their departments and in their faculties. So, department and faculties establish the curriculum for the program that the students are running and they have to respond to students' issues. For example, a student that has taken an exam and did not have his, see his results will write to the dean of the faculty through the study center director. And when the dean of the faculty gets that letter, he means it to the head of the department concerned to resolve the issue and the report is sent back to the student. Issues on scores. If a student has a low grade in the exam and he feels that he should have done better, he has the opportunity to call for a reassessment of his scores. Then issues concerning change of course and change of faculty are done in the faculties and departments. The learner support activities in the registry. These include the following issues of admission letter, issues of introductory letters, issues of certificates, issues of transcripts, and in the library we have information access and retrieval, making students information literate, provision of